Welcome. In this project, we're going to build a digital compass using Modulus. Modulus is an arithmetic operator in Java, and it's used in cases in particular for cases that, like a compass, that have a dial that move past zero, either towards the left or towards the right. So, for instance, a compass is Modulus. 360, having directions of north, south, east, and west, or a clock would be modulus uh, 60, which because there are 60 seconds in a minute, or 60 minutes in an hour, or modulus 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. So let's start by building a simple compass class. So let's say public class simple compass. And this compass is just going to have the directions of north, south, east, and west. And those directions will be represented in two ways, either numerically for 0 for north, 90 for east, 180 for south, and 270 for west, or with the names north, south, east, and west. So we'll have a spot for our uh, fields and our constructor and our methods and we'll create a field for the direction so we'll say private int direction and we'll use an integer because we won't have any decimals with our directions and then we'll create a variable for um, the names and relate those to uh, integer value. So we'll say private final and we'll make them constants because they won't change. So north will set to zero and south will set to 180, east to 90 and west 270 and we'll use full for a full turn for 360 and because they're all integers we can use multi assignment and do them all in one line so let's make a constructor so public simple compass a constructor is just a special method that doesn't have a return type notice there's no void or integer or string and when we can create a compass by using our constructor we'll just go ahead and set the direction automatically to uh, north So in our methods, we are going to need assessors and mutators for each of our fields. So we'll say public void set direction. And we'll create a local variable and just call it D for direction. And our get direction is going to be, we're going to have, make it more than just return the direction. We want it to return north, south, east, or west in this case. So I'm going to say public string get direction. And based on an integer value, we want it to return whether it's north, south, east, or west. So we will use a case statement. 
So let's set up a local variable for current direction. And we'll set that to a blank value. And then we'll use a switch and pass in that number value. And we're getting quite a few curly braces here, so I'll put in some end comments. And then we'll go back and create our cases. So our first case is for north. We'll set the current direction is equal to the string north. And then if we use this choice, we'll break out of the case. And we'll, our second case will be south. Set current direction to south. This allows us to change the integer, associate the integer value with a string. And then we'll break out of this case. Now we'll do east. last case will be west. And then to close off the method we still need a return statement. So after our curly brace for the switch we need to return current direction because our method says we need to return a string. Now we can actually have two different Um, methods called get direction because they have different parameter lists and different return values. So let's say we just want to return direction, which is an integer. We're not going to th throw an error here because error that I was thinking of, but we have a spelling error. And another spelling error there. And still a spelling error. That's why it's always good to compile after every method to make sure you, you don't have an error. And if you wait a long time in order to compile, then you may have a lot of errors to try to solve. Okay. So in this case, uh, when we have two methods with the same name, as long as they have different parameter lists, we're good. And that's called method overloading. Because they have the same name, but a different number of parameters. All right, and the last part of our class that we should always have is a two string. So remember two strings are used to override the string method because if we don't override it, um, the java.lang method at the highest level just returns the memory address of the object. And so we need a way to return details about the class and we do this in the two string. So we say public string to string. And then we're going to return 
current direction, or the phrase to our current direction, plus then we want to make take our integer value and turn it into a string so we can use the wrapper class for integer and pass in direction. Now let's check to see if we have any more errors. spelling error again and we're good to go so that's it for for creating a basic class for a compass we have our fields that return our four cardinal directions we have getters and setters for each of those methods and those fields and we have a two string that returns the state of the class. So next time we'll create a runner for our compass and test out some of these methods.